What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade video. Alright guys, time to cover a tier list for Global. That's right, we have our very own fandom uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade folks who have put together, in my opinion, one of the most accurate and best global tier lists as well as Japanese tier lists. So if you guys are looking forward to who is coming out soon, who you should focus on, I highly, highly recommend you check out this site. This is one of the most accurate tier lists for this game, bar none. So shout out to these guys. The description of this video will be below. I completely agree with this. Uh, there might be a couple changes here and there, but we have the Japanese version here in case, again, you want to see who is coming out for each damage, support, and tank units. Again, tank units are really not needed in this game uh, and then you can also see the global version so the beauty of doing this and i'm going to go through the global one of course with you first and then we're going to cover a little bit of the japanese one and who you should be saving for because a lot of you guys have been asking the same question every single time pain what banner do i summon on so i'm going to just explain to you guys real quick what banner you should be summoning on and this may help you guys understand where to go next now you guys know i'm completely free to play on this account i'm currently on chapter six working my way through it so let me go back here instead of doing the story mode and show you guys kind of where the gotcha stands so if you're going to do the step up banner and you're going to be pay to win of course do the step up banner ones the ones that matter most currently are going to be for example this step up here and this uh this step up right here so you want to get nubara and yuji here and you want to get uh gojo here if you can get dupes of them even better ideally for for pay to win dupes are going to matter quite a bit they're going to push your account a lot further and dupes open up ultimate skill uh bonuses as well as stat bonuses which are massive so if you're pay to win those are the ones you want to go with of course having a ssr guaranteed one here is not a bad choice either so just summon this one once you get this one out of the way then you for sure want to go ahead and get these two so ideally what you want to do is go one two and then focus on these ones afterwards if you plan to do step up but this is all pay to win okay 72 hours guys this is how long it lasts it is a gotcha and they are trying to pressure you so please spend responsibly on what you whatever you plan to do again this is random the gadget details are all here if you need to know what it is but you should absolutely do these two because they're guaranteeing you guys a ssr recollection bit as well as an ssr character now after that everything else should focus right here on the UG itadari uh, banner which will give you guys gotcha exclusive points right over here on my camera show you guys right there you can see the exchange and you guys can after a certain amount of pity you can get a copy of him for summoning now i'm gonna highly highly recommend here do not summon on this banner that's right do not summon on this banner. There are going to be better characters coming down the pipe. And let's go over the tier list and talk about what's currently out now and what to expect in the future. So here is the existing tier list. And again, it's as accurate as you're going to get. Okay. So SS, the current Gojo, the only one that exists as an SSR, the strongest is the only SS character. I'm going to arguably say that uh, Nubara should actually also be SS, in my opinion. And Yuji should move up one to S. And then the rest should stay where they kind of are. So I would suggest... The main three characters you want to go for are these three right here. They are going to be the best characters in the game for quite some time on Global. So for damage perspective, that's who you want to focus on. Now, just so you guys are aware, this is only focusing on uh, SS, SSR and SS characters. And some of these guys are unranked. And I, I kind of agree, nobody really uses these characters. So I would have to play around and see which one of these guys are actually worth having. I'm going to look into their kits and kind of maybe test them out once i get the resources to do so but right now i think this is a very accurate tier list and one that you should definitely be focusing on now one thing to also remember is if you are using a copy of a character you cannot use another copy of a character even if the rank is different so figure out which one you want to do most so for example a lot of you guys will have uh, ssr nanami over here and then some of you guys may have the support version of him and you may want to use both well you can't it's only one of that unit based on whatever rating they're in on your formation and on your team okay so let's go over to the global support units now you guys can see here most of these units are going to be as follows they're going to be srs with one ssr in the mix now i think that momo does deserve to be s as well uh this is actually my support team right here one two and three with gojo that's actually my team and i think they're fantastic so all of this is really really well put together um <clears throat> so i think the yeah i would say Momo probably move up, and I think the rest looks pretty good. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't change this too too much. Now, ideally, what you want to do with a team is you want to build two support, two DPS. Okay, especially when you have Gojo in the mix, because he does only have the uh, the seven turn before he's gone out of the team. 
that makes a hindrance on, on some fights. Now, story mode wise, it's seven turns is usually more than enough with the proper support team. He'll just rip right through things. He just uses, uses first curse skill until you build his ultimate, use his ultimate, pretty much destroy everything in sight. The problem comes when you start doing modes like this. Where is it here? The Domain Investigation. Some of you guys may have not gotten here yet, but I'll show you anyways. Uh, if I go to Quest right here, Domain Investigations. The thing with Domain Investigations is as you play it, his turn will continue going through bosses. And there's five areas in the first one. So as you continue going through it, all of his turns will eventually end Mine ended up four four turns, and I don't have another good DPS to replace them with, so that's kind of my crux currently in the abandoned factory of the Purple Mist. But if you are a smart player and you have a secondary DPS, you can replace Gojo and have them take his spot. So very, very important, guys, to do. Definitely get try to pull that second DPS if you can, especially if you're a brand new account who's planning to take advantage of the non-reroll system, but at least the multiple servers slash salted emails right let's just be real that's what people are doing so there you guys go that that's th definitely these three here now support wise like i said one two three and four these are going to be the best ones momo put that as an honorable mix in there the rest of them are also pretty good but i, I would i would imagine these two are the best and that's that's who i currently use on mine uh including y uh, yuki here now tanks let's be real anyone you speak to on the japanese side who has played this game tanks are not a must whatsoever they absorb damage sure they revive, sure. They can they can taunt, they can heal, fantastic. The problem is, the name of the game in this game specifically, almost like any other gacha, is Damage is King. So they're not putting out enough damage to warrant a slot in your team, or they're not supporting you enough to warrant a slot in your team to make your damage dealers do more. They're just there to soak damage for the most part, and they themselves aren't very, very good at it. So I would avoid going with tanks, just focus on damage and support. Now, with that being said, in case you do want to tank, really Panda is the best one, the SSR version. Uh, that's the only one I would really go for because he does actually stay fairly relevant even in the Japanese version. All right, speaking of Japanese version, let's talk a little bit about the characters that you want to save for. All right, so these Gojos here are all fantastic. Green Gojo and Yuta specifically are the ones you want. Those are the two characters that you absolutely want to go for. Uh, Utah, more, more than anybody else, is what everyone mostly saves for and we should be saving for. So that is going to be my goal. Now, you guys can see here on my account, I have, where is it, gotcha, 14.9, so 15k cubes. I'm going to keep saving. I'm not going to roll on anything until I get these like free draw tickets. Then I'll do a couple rolls here and there. But for me personally, to maximize the amount of dupes, to maximize the amount of uh, copies I get of him, I want to get Utah for sure. In my opinion, if not the best DPS, one of the best DPSs in the game. There's also Ghetto that's coming out and Megumi. So let's talk about those guys real quick while we're here. Uh, let's go to the list. The support, this is what I'm referring to. There's Momo as well. She's crazy, crazy good. I forgot about her, actually. So there's Megumi here. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, and then this is uh, Ghetto right here, the Teen Ghetto. And then this is right here, uh, Momo. Mo My personal opinion, I think it's Megumi and Momo that are the best ones. So you want to go for them as well if you possibly can. But you guys can see some of these guys maintain their rankings even in the Japanese version, right? So it's not a bad thing. Like, look at this. SS still. SS still right here. Uh, S still down here. You guys can see they're all they're all still all still relevant. So you don't have to necessarily pull on these ones if you don't have the currency and you want to rather wait for Utah or another Gojo or wh whoever else you want to go for, right? And again, tank wise, yeah. you guys can see Panda does drop one step, uh, but you know uh, uh, Saki's here uh, as well as Kasumi's here. Like this version of Kasumi, uh, so Miwa is not bad either still. So you guys can still go with these two if you want to. But ideally, again, tanks are not worthwhile. But for sure, guys, this Gojo is going to still last. Utah is still going to last. This Gojo, when he comes out, is really good. Toji is going to be really good. Support-wise, still the best, one of the best units in the game. Megumi is amazing, as well as Momo. So if you are planning to save, if you have a really good DPS setup, because if you look here in the Japanese version, in damage, uh, she's Nabara still S. Still holds her own. Right, so if you have Nabara and Gojo, and you are now at this point looking for good supports, and you don't have these SRs, M Momo will, Momo or Geto or Megumi will all replace whatever you need in terms of supports on that team. All right, guys, there you guys go. There's the full tier list. So remember, global tier list is available. Shout out to the guys at Fandom for making this. I will be putting the link to this in the video as well. Make sure you take a look at it. Guys, it's a PvE game. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. I'll make a guide on in terms of what you should be doing if you're stuck somewhere in terms of stages. Uh, and then hopefully that'll help you guys get through some of these harder content. But for now on, guys, enjoy the game. Enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Take care.